Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of May 1st through the 6th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. I feel like some of you are getting a new opportunity here. Um, some sort of offer is coming through. But I also see you kind of wanting to take things easy. Uh, maybe just relax, not add a lot to your plate. I feel like there's a lot of changes going on in your life right now. I feel like things are moving very quickly. And you might feel that you're still kind of um, dealing with what happened last month. So some of you are kind of like, okay, yeah, all these things are going on. And these things are happening and I have so much to look forward to, but I'm kind of still processing a recent situation. So I feel like some of you just want to kind of um, pause time maybe and just kind of lay down and just sleep for as many hours as you need to so that you can feel refreshed and ready to start again. Because some of you are going through a lot of changes. Things are happening quickly here with the chariot. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer. Um, I mean, it's interesting. Mars right now um, is in... Yes, Mars right now is in Cancer, I believe. Um, and so things are moving at a pace that is kind of um, maybe too fast for how we are currently dealing with things emotionally. Um, really here, I just feel like you're, you're kind of wishing that you could pause or you wish you could kind of slow things down so you could process, so you could recover, so you can heal from something. But I do see you having to kind of make a quick decision here with regards to a new offer, a new opportunity, because it's almost like it's being brought to you and all you have to do is accept it. All you have to do is decide, okay, yes, I want to do this. And then from there, things are going to start to happen and move very quickly. Um, so we have the Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Queen of Swords. So with the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, to me this is saying that you're still healing, you're still processing, you're still recovering some, from something here that happened in the recent past. Um, and I just see you kind of wishing you could have a little bit more time to heal from that, a little bit more time to recover, um, or maybe just to process. Some of you, you know, you've, you've really done a lot of work here, um, you know, with this situation. A lot of you have done an amazing job at, you know, overcoming a challenge here, but now you're kind of being called to do something. Maybe you have maybe responsibilities or obligations or some sort of work situation or something here is happening that you're having to step out of your comfort zone or you're having to step out of a safe space and do it and do something that maybe you don't have the energy for and so you're finding um, that you need to kind of pull the energy out of somewhere because you're having to face this and there is no um, escape from it but i do see you kind of wishing you could maybe go into hermit mode and just wait things out until you're ready to go for it again uh, but I also sense that whatever this new offer, this new opportunity is, I feel like when you finally accept it, when you receive it, it might just be enough to want to get you out of hermit mode. Because some of you don't don't know what it is yet or you don't see it just yet. Um, but I feel like when this new offer comes through, some of you are going to look at it, you're going to see it, you're going to accept it. And you're going to think, you know what, maybe this is what I need. Maybe this exactly, this is exactly what I need to really get through this pain or this heartbreak or whatever this three of swords situation was some of you this new offer is totally going to not just distract you from it but it's going to take your attention and time away from um, thinking about this and i feel like that is going to heal you so this new offer this new opportunity is going to further and finally heal you from something here that has really been weighing down on you and and kind of um causing you to be more in this hermit mode more and just that reserved and to yourself energy so that's interesting um with the queen of swords and the king of wands some some of you have been exchanging some sort of communication with somebody here or there's been some sort of back and forth between a person i feel like there's a lot of passion a lot of um, honesty as well so you could be connecting with um, if a fire sign maybe leo sagittarius aries maybe an air sign um, you know another air sign maybe a gemini 
um, Libra, maybe another Aquarius, but I just see you connecting to someone here that has been matching your energy in their own way, but there's a lot of honesty, um, passion, there's a lot of desire to create some sort of movement here, and maybe this is the thing that is kind of keeping you um, with that feeling of, am I ready for this? Do I really want to go through with this? Maybe you're getting offers from another person and you just kind of you know, maybe recently walked away from something here in the past. And so you're still kind of like hesitant to put yourself out there. But I do sense that there is some sort of back and forth communication between you and another person. And it might be making you wonder, you know, am I really ready to go out there again and do this? But I, I kind of see you having some sort of um, moment here where you realize, what do I have to lose? You know, maybe this is good for me. Maybe this will open up other doors. So, you know, whether this is in relationships or work, um, there's something here that's going to really transform the way that you currently feel at the moment. And with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Wands, I feel like some of you are going to be expanding your life. Um, you know, some of you are falling in love with a process, a hobby, um, maybe your work. Maybe there is a connection here that's not only making you feel alive again, but I feel like it's giving you motivation to, to keep going forward and do something here in the future. Some of you are planning to move. Some of you are... Uh, maybe you are moving, maybe you're traveling, you want to expand your horizon, you want to see what's out there, what's ahead, and some of you are being inspired and motivated by some sort of love, some passion, some um, emotions here are kind of driving you forward and, and really saying, you know what, I, I have to move on, um, I have to look forward and make these changes, go ahead and, um, you know, see what, what else is out there. So I just, you know, I'm looking at the car right now and there's these two little boats in the water. I never really noticed them before, but I'm seeing this and maybe you have two options to choose from. And so this opportunity is already kind of giving you this choice. And maybe that choice is what is keeping you kind of hoping you had more time to think about it. So maybe some of you are juggling two different options and you're you're just kind of like, ah, you know, why, why is there a rush? I need more time to think about it. So let's see. Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The future is so bright, Aquarius. The future is so um, filled with really a lot of changes, but also a lot of things to celebrate and a lot of reasons to be brave and to be open and to keep going. Because some of you are still feeling um, some sort of heavy emotions here with the Nine of Swords. Some of you may be anxious, worried, afraid, or doubting this change, doubting, um, going in a new direction. Some of you are afraid that maybe doing something different will either be worse than the current situation or take you back to a place that you're not comfortable in. So um, I think the sign of swords just really saying that you are just, you're aware of these feelings. You're not hiding them. You're not ignoring them. If anything, I like when the nine of swords comes out because to me, it's, it's, it's the fact that you're not pretending that you don't feel anything. Um, sometimes when we're going through a really overwhelming situation, we we try to overlook these feelings. We try to pretend like we're not worried, like we're like we don't have any fears or doubts. But the best thing you can do is accept what you feel, um, and welcome this energy because it's how you get closer to what you really feel or what you really want. And um, slowly, these these feelings transform as you go through the motions. So I think that as acknowledging the pain, acknowledging the worry, um, that's actually a really good way to recover and heal from something because if you keep everything bottled in and you don't address it then it'll never get resolved so um aquarius you should pat yourself on the back for acknowledging and feeling what you feel and not pretending that it isn't there um and with the strength and the four of wands that is just saying that if you continue to be brave if you continue to show up and keep putting yourself in these situations and allow these expansions to happen and take these offers and these opportunities while they may be a little scary or maybe you don't have all the energy for it or maybe you're you don't know if this is the right thing to do if you continue to have that bravery you will realize there is so much in the future to to celebrate to look forward to you're opening up a portal and you don't even realize it by just stepping out of this comfort zone by just deciding that even though you want to rest and you just want to relax by still going out there and doing these things you're opening up a portal of opportunity you're proving um, that this expansion, these offers, these things that are happening, it's not in vain and it's not for nothing. It's because you deserve better. You deserve more. You deserve genuine, happy connections and opportunities and experiences. And a lot of you 
um, you know, you're still dealing with this, but that doesn't mean that you can't already look to the future and anticipate and be ready for what's next. So a lot of you just need to continue to open up that door, continue to look through that window of opportunity and continue to heal and be brave as you do it. Um, Cause something here is gonna be so big and so wonderful for you. So love that, love that for you Aquarius. Um, if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.